Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can submit an assignment via GitHub Classroom. Now, there are a lot of ways to submit an assignment via GitHub Classroom. Most notably would be to use the command line interface for Git. Now, I have that in another video, which I would encourage you to check out. In this video, however, I'm not going to use the command line. I'm going to instead use the tools, the graphical user interface tools inside of VS Code. So this is VS Code, Visual Studio Code. It's a nice lightweight editor that has some really easy to use features for working with a version control system like Git and GitHub. This video is going to assume that you are familiar with what Git and GitHub are, uh, what's the purpose of version control, why you use it, etc. So if you've never worked with Git or GitHub before, I'd recommend checking out one of my other videos introducing it and then head back to this one when you're ready to learn specifically how to use VS Code and its graphical user interface tools for working with Git and GitHub, specifically how to submit an assignment via GitHub Classroom. All right, so GitHub Classroom is this really great tool from GitHub where instructors can collect students' programming assignments via GitHub. Now, how this is going to work is I'm going to go through the four steps in order to submit via GitHub Classroom. I'm going to introduce the steps one at a time. I'm going to show you with a live example how to go through that step. And then at the end, you'll be able to test to make sure that you submitted your assignment via GitHub Classroom. All right, so let's start with the first step. So the first step, number one, is to accept the assignment. So your instructor for your class is going to provide you with a unique URL for your assignment. Now I have an example URL for an example assignment that we're going to use in this video and you should follow along with. However, for your particular class at your university or your high school or whatnot, you're going to need your own link from your instructor. So be sure you know where and how to find that. All right, so here is the link that we're going to use as an example in this video. I'm going to click on this link just like you would click on a link that your instructor provides you for a programming assignment in your class. Now, the first time that you do a GitHub Classroom assignment in your class, you're likely going to be prompted to select your name from a roster. Go ahead and click your name. If you don't see your name in the roster, you can just click skip this step. And I would recommend you email your instructor and just let them know that you weren't in the roster. All right, so depending on if your instructor has some starter code or not, this can take a few minutes. There's no starter code for this hello world classroom assignment, this little kind of dummy assignment that I made. So it should import or set up really fast. Once you see this page saying you're ready to go, you have a GitHub repository that has been made for you for this assignment. You can click this link right here to go to that repository on GitHub. Let's do that now. All right, so hopefully you've seen this page before. This is what an empty repository on GitHub looks like. It has some instructions for getting set up using the command line. Well, this is all great. We're not going to use the command line. We're instead going to use VS Code. So the only thing that we need from here is this URL right here. So while we're here, let's just click this copy button to copy this to our clipboard so that we can paste it in VS Code later. We will need this link in order to make the connection from our local repository on our machine, like our laptop or our desktop, to this remote repository in the cloud. While I'm here, one thing I wanna point out is this uh, kind of path up here is showing you the name of your repository and what organization that repository belongs to. So this repository is not going to be in your personal account. This is going to be in the organization account that your instructor set up. So like, for example, this is the name of a course that I'm teaching, um, CPSC 
222, Computer Science 222. So that's the organization that owns this repository. Now the name of the repository is going to be the name of the assignment, Hello World Classroom, dash your username. Okay, so that's how this repository name was automatically created. Name of the assignment, dash your username for GitHub. Okay, you can't change this, you don't need to change it. But I just wanted to explain that very clearly that this repository, it's private to this organization. It's not in your personal GitHub account. All right, so let's move on to the second step. Step number two, set up your local repository. Okay, so we just set up our remote repository. Now we need to go set up our local repository and then we're gonna make the connection between the two. That's why we copied that URL to our clipboard. All right, so let's head over to VS Code and let's click Open Folder. Go ahead and navigate somewhere like your desktop or maybe a folder for your class and make a new folder. And we can call this the same name as our repository on GitHub, but we don't have to. But we can if we want. So I'm gonna call this Hello World Classroom. I'm not gonna put the dash G Sprint 23 on the end. It doesn't have to match, though you can have it match if you want to. I'm gonna click Create, and I'm gonna click Open. Make sure you're in that new folder. All right, so now the CWD, the current working directory of Visual Studio Code is our Hello World Classroom folder, okay? As you can see, this folder is empty. It doesn't have any files in it, okay? This folder, I'll point out, is not yet a local repository, okay? Git is not tracking any files in this folder. This is just a standard folder. All right, let's add a file to this folder and then we're going to have git track changes in that file. All right, let's click new file right here. And let's just call this main.py. This is gonna be a really simple Python file that's going to print hello world. If you don't know anything about Python, never written a line of Python code before, that's okay. What we type in this file for the purpose of this exercise is not important at all. This could be a standard text file, this could be a Word document, this could be a Java file. Uh, it really doesn't matter. We just need some file in this folder where we can start making changes and then track those changes with Git. All right, so let's save this. And just for fun, I'm gonna run this really quick. Fast way to run this is just to click this play button over here and it prints out hello world. All right, great. Make sure that you save this file, okay, using your keyboard shortcuts or file, save, okay, and VS Code will tell you in its menu bar what the keyboard shortcut is for common commands. So save on a Mac is Command S. All right, so remember our step, right? Our step is to set up our local repository. Right now, we have a local folder. We need to make it into a local Git repository. So in your sidebar in VS Code, you're gonna see this icon here called Source Control. And there's the keyboard shortcut for opening it up. Let's open Source Control, and we'll see that VS Code is properly saying that this folder currently open doesn't have a Git repository. And that makes sense, right? It's just an empty folder we just made. Let's click Initialize Repository. This is just like the command git init if you've worked with command line git before. All right, well now our hello world classroom folder is a local git repo. And git is now tracking changes in the files in this folder. So right here under changes shows we have one. It also has this nice badge on the icon here showing us that we have one change or one file with a change. And that's main.py. It's got a U next to it saying that it is untracked. All right, well, what's nice about VS Code is at the same time we 
commit, we can also stage a file or set of files for that commit. All right, so see up here, there's this little text box here that says message, command, enter, dot, dot, dot. This is command, enter to commit. So if I wanna commit all these changes at once, which is the easiest to do, maybe not what you always wanna do, uh, but what we'll do in this video, right? If we have multiple files here, we might wanna only commit the changes in a few files. But in this video, we only have one file, so we wanna commit all the changes. Uh, we can simply type our message. This is our commit message, and I'll say initial commit, command enter. And once again, properly, VS Code is gonna say there are no stage changes to commit, right? We never did something like a git add command. So we can simply say, yes, we'd like to automatically stage all your changes and commit them directly. Uh, you can also say always, so you don't have to click each time this dialog pops up. Or you can say never if you wanted to maybe go back and like I was saying, choose individual files to add and to commit at the same time. So I'm gonna press yes. Okay, so now I have a single commit, okay, single snapshot of the changes in this folder, right? Which is just main.py printing out hello world. Awesome, so far so good. Now we're on to the next step, step number three. So step number three is to push a commit to your remote repo. So for us, our remote repo is hosted on GitHub. So that commit we just made, initial commit, we are now going to push to GitHub. So remember, we copied this URL to our clipboard. Now we need it to make that connection from this local repository to our remote repository. So still having this source control sidebar open right here, Go to the overflow icon, okay, that's the three dots here, and go down to remote, add remote, okay? This is gonna be like our git remote add origin command if you're familiar with the command line. All right, guess what? It wants us to paste the repository URL. Perfect, we have that on our clipboard. Click add remote from URL. Now it's prompting us for a name. Uh, typically, you would name your remote origin. Okay, that's kind of the naming standard, right? If you're familiar with like git remote at origin, well, origin is the name of our remote. So let's just keep it simple and stick with that convention. All right, just like that, we now have a remote. There's a connection now between this local git repository and this remote one. Now we need to actually take that action of pushing. Okay, so this is like the git push command. All right, back over to the three dots for the overflow icon. Go to pull comma push, click push to. There's your origin, click origin. And it's going to push our commit to our GitHub repo but because that GitHub repo, remember, belongs to an organization account, you're gonna to have to authenticate with that organization account. So it says the extension GitHub wants to sign in using GitHub. We will say allow. Authorize Visual Studio Code to access GitHub. Continue. Okay, so now we're being redirected back to Visual Studio Code. Say okay, open allow an extension to open this URI, GitHub authentication, yes, that's fine, don't ask again, open. All right, so now it says, would you like code to periodically run git fetch? Um, this is up to you. If you're familiar with git fetch, you may wanna answer yes. I'm gonna just say no for simplicity. Okay, so, if we go back to our repository and refresh, 
we are now going to see our main.py. If you have never pushed from your local repository to a GitHub repository before, you may be prompted to enter in your GitHub credentials. Make sure you do that or it won't work, okay? So your GitHub credentials would be the same credentials you would use if you were to say sign in to your GitHub account. All right, let's click on this main.py. And look here, we've got our print hello world. So I always recommend, always recommend that you go to your URL on GitHub and you refresh and make sure that the code that you see there is the code that you want to submit as part of your GitHub classroom assignment. Okay, you should also head over to your repository and pretend to be the grader. Okay, so pretend to be the grader means copy your URL and clone it down to your local machine, just like the grader, just like your instructor would to grade your assignment, and then open up that folder in VS Code and run your code, okay? So always, always, always do that. And I'll head over to VS Code and show you back in this overflow icon where you can see there's a clone option, okay? So with your clone option, that's where you can paste that URL and copy down the files, pretend to be the grader, and make sure that the code that you submit to GitHub is in fact the code you want graded. All right, so we just finished step three, push a commit to GitHub. The last step, step number four, is simply continue working. Now you have a nice little uh, workflow set up where you make some changes locally, and periodically you want to push them to GitHub to back them up, or perhaps to access them from a different machine, or perhaps as your final submission to your instructor for grading. All right, so let's just go through a little example of step four, and then we will call it a video on how to submit an assignment with GitHub Classroom. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my main.py, and I'm just gonna print out another change. Okay, I'm just making some sort of change. I'm gonna save this file. Look, I have a change in my version control sidebar here. It's saying main.py has been modified. I'm just gonna have another commit with another change as my commit message. Command enter to commit. Yes to stage all the files. Great. Now I have a second commit. Now down here in the bottom, you'll see this little icon here to publish changes. I can simply click this icon or sometimes there'll be like a little kind of refresh circle down here showing you you have some changes to push or changes to pull. You can simply click this in order to push or you can go up to pull, push, push. All right, let me head back to main.py. And just like that, my another change commit has made it up to my remote repository. All right, keep practicing. There's a lot that can be done with Git and GitHub and VS Code. Some really great keyboard shortcuts too to kind of speed up this process. Remember, push early, push often, if for no other reason than having a great backup of your work on GitHub. That's it. Thanks for watching.